Today, we're gonna create this spooky tree with a really cool skull pile. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. Tried to lay them sort of in a random-ish pattern. I use the small ones and the big ones to kind of taper it up some because I kind of want the small ones up here at the top. So we got a little pyramid of skulls here. Also get a can of the Loct Loctite foam. And I've never used this before and I know that this is kind of shapeable uh, once it gets the skin on top. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and play with this and see how this goes. I'm gonna use that. Let's use the Loctite. All right, I put my skulls on, I took them all off. I placed one skull, put some gray stuff, just kept piling it up. And there we have it for now. Kind of hard to see the tree with this black background, but you can get the gist of it. So now we've got our little skull pile below our tree. So let me finish this. I think I'm supposed to spray this down with water and then it'll get a skin and then I could shape it a bit. So let's do that. this sucker. I'm going to be using a technique called dry brushing and I'm really just going to hit mostly the skulls I believe for with this cream color. Looking pretty good. So I decided to go ahead and dry brush the whole thing. It actually looks better uh, with the whole thing dry brush. And then I'm probably going to stain on top of the skulls to give some contrast between the skulls and the uh, stone texture. And again, it's your preference. You know, keep playing with it and, you know, add colors. And if you add something you don't like, guess what? It's paint. You could go over it again. Don't be afraid to try some different colors and different, different techniques and see what you like best because it really is about kind of what you like. So, all right. I almost feel like I should even give this tree some dry brushing because it was just straight up, straight up black.
spooky. All right, so <clears throat> played with the paint a little bit. Um, I ended up putting a little bit of this, uh, what is this? I don't know, brownish looking color. <laughs> I don't see what it says on there for the color. But I put some of that on there. I went ahead and dry brushed the whole thing with the cream. And then I did the dry brush this on just in between the skulls. And then I don't often do green and I had this sitting on my table and I'm like, you know what? Let me go green on there a little bit. So it's kind of cool because it's a tree. So it almost looks like a little bit of a grass pile with the skulls in the tree. So I actually really like that. So I don't even know if I'm gonna stain these skulls like I was wanting to before. I might touch up in here where I got some of the green to uh, mess with the teeth a bit. I might even do some green or moss like on, like if I had some moss growing onto these skulls. I don't know, again, you can play with it all you want. Make it your own, but 